another edition of the highly acclaimed online series, Catching Up with Cram. As always, our guest for today's show, Senior Captain Taylor Cram. How are you, Cram? I'm great. How are you, Kev? I'm not too shabby awesome. myself. Hi, myself. everyone. We've gotten a lot of uh, positive reviews from those of you out in the inner tubes, so uh, we're meeting again with Cram after the weekend to figure out uh, how we did. Cram, how did we do? Um... I think we did okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it was, it wasn't great and it wasn't awful. Uh, we went into Maryland, we fought really hard. It was our first away trip, first bus ride. It was a long one, it's a little bit of a doozy. Um, so we got five hours. Five hours, yeah. Five plus. Five, yeah, definitely five plus. And it we was even, way in there. We had the good I was bus driver. us on our, on our, my iPhone. Yeah, we had the good bus driver as yeah. well. Who, he really, uh, Cedric, that guy hauls. He, yeah. It was awesome, which was good because it could have been gone very downhill. Yes. Um, anyway, so we got there Thursday night, Friday morning? Thursday night slash Friday yes, morning? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, the witching hour. Yeah, I think we played, we practiced on Friday. I think we played well on Friday night against Maryland. We fought really hard, uh, ended up going to five games and didn't quite pull it out, which I think was a little frustrating for everyone because we knew we could have done it. We were so close. And those are always hard, but uh, we knew that we, we fought hard. And then we came back and we played Delaware at 10 in the morning on Saturday, which was the earliest that we'd ever played. And I mean, the ever. Maryland, <laughs> ever. Since club. <laughs> yeah. Which was centuries ago. Yeah. Wow, thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we played at 10 in the morning after we got home so late on uh, Friday night, too. And we came out hard against Delaware. I yeah. think everyone picked it up and everyone was awake and ready to go. I thought we played really well against Delaware. Uh, we ended up beating them, which was awesome. And then we had a little bit of a break and came back on Friday or Saturday afternoon against Sacred Heart. Uh, I just, I don't think we were ready to play. And I think that by the time we realized it, it was too far into the game. They, they played very well. I think yes, they, they were did. a very good team. And, um, I think that we, we could have beat them. I d definitely don't think that we were on our game, which is, again, frustrating, but I also think that it's a learning experience. I think that we all came out of the game knowing that not only did we have the loss, but we didn't play to our full potential, right. which, I mean, in Maryland, we fought hard and we knew we could have beat them, but we didn't have that regret of not playing how we knew that sure. we could have. So I think it was a different feeling, but it's almost good that we had that feeling after the match and we know that we never never want to feel that way again so in retrospect i mean it's obviously no we never want to play like that and that's not acceptable at all but can you um, make that promise can we have that in writing yes. okay, yeah i'll write down the contract later. aaron and i would yeah. appreciate it yeah if we could so have that. Uh, how soon after the sacred heart match we went and got chipotle mm -hmm, that helped at, at what point do you feel like the Chipotle really did its job and made us feel better? Because I know I felt a little bit better after yeah, I had my Chipotle. Yeah, you know, I did too. Chipotle always has a way of, of making me feel a little better of the but game. Guacamole but guacamole helps. Yeah, the guacamole does help. So, um, yeah, we were very excited to pull into Chipotle. We didn't didn't really know where we would be going for it, dinner. So after a match like that, <laughs> dinner can go one you, of two ways. Yeah, you, yeah. Just, you just don't ask. You just kind of kind of see where the bus takes you, so... You hope. Yeah, you hope, of course. But you don't talk about it. You just kind of wait and see. On the way down uh, to Maryland, we had the chance to watch a couple of movies. Uh, Invincible. Mm -hmm. And the other one was... Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears that was Prada. My De uh, really? <laughs> Shocking. Invincible was Cordell's pick, I The think. person with the pearls on <laughs> picked Devil, Devil Wears Prada. Uh, well, what is it? What do you enjoy about that movie? I don't know. I mean, I love like the fashion and, and all. That. Really like, weird. I know <laughs> <laughs> that aspect of it. But I also love Invincible. It's Invincible, like a, which a good. I had not solid. seen it. I hadn't either. I was really nervous to say that out loud because <laughs> the team was <laughs> pretty into it, and I had no idea really what was going I thought on. Thought you might so. be shunned by society yeah. for not yeah. having seen it. By at least a couple of them. Yeah. So. I kept that to myself. And that was I mean, a Katie Cordell was, pick? Is that what you're saying? I think so. I think she, Erica's into the whole football. She, she's thing. a cheesehead. Yeah. Erica Reitz yeah. from Wisconsin. Yeah. But, I mean, I love those movies. Yeah. Great inspirational stories. It's, it's good. And the hotel, it was pretty, I thought, pretty good. Yeah, I thought the rooms were pretty nice. Yeah, it was a little far away from the gym. A little far away. But rooms were nice. 
Yeah. Breakfast was we had eggs, sausages. Breakfast yeah. is good. I thought so. Yeah. Good, good water pressure, I thought, in the shower. Absolutely, yeah. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's, it's poor water pressure. Well, hi, hello. Yeah, yeah. Because I need the <laughs> extra water need pressure that. <laughs> to really get in there and into the roots. <laughs> Clean, thanks, Cram, for pointing that out. I know, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just, I, I just usually stop shampooing my hair. And... So looking forward, we are home this weekend. Yes. We have Army, Quinnipiac. The Q pack. The Q pack. The and Q. New Hampshire. Yes. And the Yale uh, Classic, right? Classic, I believe, is what we call this mm -hmm. one. The last one was the Invitational. What are you expecting from these three teams? Um, I think they're all solid teams. I mean, teams change every year. And so we've played some of them consistently, but each year you get new freshmen. I mean, I think our team is an example of that, where you get new freshmen and things kind of change around. So I think we just have to scout everyone, see what's new in their lineup, see if they're doing anything differently, um, really pay attention to what they're doing and some of their strengths and weaknesses and use that in our strategy and sure. preparing for the games. Um, and honestly, I just think we have to worry about what's on what we're doing on our side of the court. I yeah. think that if we play our game, then we'll be fine. So yeah, I think that it's going to be a great weekend. A lot of parents are coming out, my parents included. So. And many of and our and viewers, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, many of our viewers are asking for a video of Randy Cram. So we'll try and get some get Randy little, Cram yeah, on like here. A special guest star yeah. Or yeah, just by popular demand. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so this weekend will be great. I'm excited. Now, on a, an academic uh, front, being an academic <laughs> institution as we yes, are at course. Yale, <clears throat> uh, do you have your classes all sorted out? I do. Are you, your schedule I'm set? Good. Yeah. yeah. Things are things are good. They're a little touch and go for a little while, but because we don't want to ignore the student half of the no, student athlete no, equation. the student half is a, is a big a big half, yeah. a large slice, if yeah. you will. Um, but yeah, classes are figured out. Schedules are due this week. I think we explained shopping periods last time. I think we mentioned yeah. to go have the viewer do their own yeah. research. Yeah. Um, so if you did, uh, schedules are actually due this week. So everyone's pretty much has their classes figured out, and that's a big source of stress for a lot of people in the right. first couple of weeks is you could be going to 11 classes and only plan on taking four of them, so that's always stressful. You didn't do um, that, did you? No, no, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that. <laughs> but, you're uh, a seasoned veteran. you exactly. got this. I mean, exactly. you I know what it. you're doing. Yeah. But that's all the questions that we have for okay. this week with the catching up with Cram. Cool. We will visit again, and uh, hopefully next week we'll have some video to look at in terms of Randy Cram and uh, maybe some video from the weekend. We'll go over some highlights of what happened, things like that. that sounds good. As I get more technologically proficient with Final Cut Express on the Mac. So we'll see how that goes. So Taylor Cram, once again, thank you so thank much you for being Pat. our guest. It's been great. We'll see you next time on Catching Up with Cram. Bye, guys.